the people who watch National Geographic, the people who read natural history magazines, the people who go to a museum to hear a lecture, they already know how important trees are. So I'm not really like doing anything more than that. And that's when I began thinking about how can I get to other kinds of people who might not have access to a museum, who might not pick up a National Geographic. And I began thinking about my own childhood, how I, I got connected and stuck on trees when I was a little girl. But you look at urban cities today, there are no trees to climb. And so what else could I use to connect little girls with trees? And of course the answer was Barbie because pretty much every little girl around the world, urban, rural, loves little Barbie and uses it as a something that they want to identify as. I want to be like Barbie when I grow up. But our Barbie model is proms and accessories and uh, getting a boyfriend named Ken. And so I thought, well, what if I made a, you know, a tweak Barbie and dressed her in my field clothes with a little helmet and a little booklet about canopy plants and a crossbow. So I, I knocked on the door of Mattel and they said, no, we're not interested at all. <laughs> you can have this idea. This is where you'll get a whole nother group of customers. So that was back in 2004. Once again, there was something in me that said, I think there's something here. It was that tree, like I want to mm. move. I want to inspire little girls to climb trees. And so my students and I began buying Barbies, used Barbies from Goodwill stores. We engaged these volunteer seamstresses to sew her little clothes. We got helmets on eBay. We made a little pamphlet about canopy plants. And I began just selling them on my little stupid academic website, you know, which nobody sees. But anyway, we began selling them and with a little booklet about canopy plants. Anyway, it was written up in the New York Times and then Mattel heard about it. And they called me up and they said, you can't do this, you're encroaching on our brand. And I said, you know, I'd be happy to give you this idea. I'm not making any money off it, go ahead and use it. And they said, no, 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 you can't do it. We're gonna shut you down. I said, oh, you know, I have some journalist friends <laughs> who would be really interested in learning that Mattel is trying to shut down a small brown woman from inspiring Fantastic. little girls to go into science. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. So they said, okay, <laughs> never mind, never mind. You can go ahead. Uh, they wouldn't put it in writing, but they let me go ahead and sell them. Anyway, 15 great. years later, I got a call from National Geographic. They had partnered with Mattel and they mm. said, we are starting a new line called Explorer Barbies. And we'd like you to be on the advisory committee. We're going to have an entomologist Barbie, a polar wow. scientist Barbie, a wildlife photographer Barbie. So I was uh, an advisor. And as a thank you, they gave me a one of a kind Nalini lookalike treetop wow. Barbie, which is now in my lab, which I'm very proud of. Wow. But I think the the story behind that is really not so much this idea or anything. It means that over the course of 15 years, there are more and more little girls who want role models that are like an explorer and not just the prom Barbie. And so to me, that's a really hopeful, wonderful thing that girls who are looking for something to long for what am I going to be? Who am I now and who will I be in the future? I long to be someone who's important, who's beautiful, who's who's an explorer. And so now they have something that fits that. And so I feel that, you know, I feel hopeful and optimistic that my sense of longing for little girls to grow up thinking about doing something for trees has been helped by this big corporation that I thought so badly about. And yet they were actually doing something powerful and something positive to fulfill that sense of longing of myself and of these little girls.